Hi, and we're getting Wolf here today, and we're doing an anime review. And today, this anime is Critical No Basketball. If you couldn't tell by the picture, I don't know if it's popular or not. Like, it gets a lot of views on the sites I use it to, to watch it. So there's that. So, hey, I like the reason why I found this anime, it's on its third season right now. I'm going to be talking about. A little bit of the first, second, and third, just so you can get the plot of it. Of, like, the main. No, I'll just. You know, I'll just give a generalization. I won't say what's from what season and all that. Alright, so, without further ado, I'll let you listen to what it says in the beginning of the anime. Because I butchered it so hard the first time I tried recording. Built in history, there were five once in a decade parties in one year. The generation is a miracle. Kisei Ryota, And the menace standing against them was Saren High School. With its shadow and light. Okay, so those are the main characters and the other main character. Well, I want to just I like I like to think is there's more than one main character because they're shown a lot. So, though there are side characters, if you would think the main character would be Kuriko. Would it be Taiga? So back to what I was saying because I was really interrupted. Um, and you don't know what happened, but I know what happened. So. Like I said, in a way they're the MCs, but not really. I feel like because like they're in the anime a lot, and well, I guess they're the antagonists, if you will, because they're you. Because basically, with the shadow and the light, what they said, what I said, what slash what they said was that you have Kuriko or Tetsu, which is his first name, I'm pretty sure. Um, him and Taiga, with the light, I'll say that because, Kagami, there you go, Kagami, I just had to think about it for five seconds, with those two, so they're a pair because of, Kagami is really good and he moved, he transferred from America to Japan. Now he's not full American because the thing is he's a mix. He knows more Japanese than English or is it the other way around? But he he knows both languages, alright. Alright, give him a break. So with that they went to Saren High School because Kuroko wanted to he just wanted all the generation miracles after middle school. They all went to a different high schools. He went there. I don't know why. Well, it is said why, but it's a spoiler, so I can't say that. It's in season three. So, yeah. I'm not going to say what's there. But I say, well, episode just in case you guys aren't watching season three or on season two and you really want to know what episode, it's like. It's like the lot latest episode. So, like I got interrupted again. God damn, I should really just not say that because I, I actually lost track of what I was going to say. So, rewind a little. So, they all went to different high schools, blah blah blah. They went there. So, the shadow is Kuroko. The light is Kagami. Which I explained early on in season one. So there's that. They they aim to go for the winter. No, first one was the the summer thing in the first season. So fuck, I really don't know where to go from here. So there's that plot where they try to go against every single generation of miracle. 
and beat all of them with Saren High School. There's that. Because I won't give any more. Because it is... I really don't want to spoil it because it's that good. If you haven't seen the first two seasons, or even the three seasons. So, with that in mind, the plot slash story a little bit, that what's about it. Um, next, let's go to the intro songs. Now, this is the season three intro, just more than I did the second season. Like, the only re I like second season. Second season. Fuck. Why am I saying scenes? Second season. I only liked it because of the beginning of it, of how it looked. So. Now that's the intro. That's been shown. I like the intros. I, if I were to give a rating, like, I don't know that much of the second season, so I won't put the second season. First season, I would give it a... Uh, Seven and a half, because I thought it was really good, but not the best. Season three, however, I like to give it a nine, because it's really like, it's just like, it sounds really good if you listen to it all. And when you watch the video, it makes it even better, in my opinion. But I got into, I'm turned into fanboy every time, every Saturday. Oh yeah, every Saturday in the afternoon, like one, two, maybe something like that. I can't keep remembering. I always watch it at 2. one thirty, something like that. On Saturdays. That's when it comes out. Episode 12 or 59? Or 6? Hold on. I can literally look at it right now. So, right now is episode 59. And then next one would be episode 60. Tomorrow. Now that that's out of the way, the intro. There's some things that I do like to say and what I don't like. Season three is the last season, but what you don't get to see is because they have, they have some. I think their their upper class is like they're really good, though they're not like generation miracles good. They're like they're a little bit above average, and then like like you get to a you get like when you really get interested in ones in animes then this would be a good one if you really wished for fourth season but there's not this gonna end here on the third season so that's one bad thing another thing is another bad thing in my opinion is the spacing of the game some games are really fast some games are short not really fast just faster than others like it seems like the pacing's kind of whack, but it still does it good, and you do get teased. You get teased, and but since if you're gonna w actually watch the anime, then you won't get teased as much. Cause 59 episodes—that's a lot to get up to. That's like a whole day's worth, plus more. That's like 36 hours, plus. So now that's out of the way. I think that's it. Oh, character-wise. Alright. I forgot. I haven't done this in so long. Characters. So, the MCs slash side characters. You get to know their backstory of what, why they liked basketball, and how they got into it. And then, that just helped with the plot so much. Not help with the plot. It just helped with the character developments that they they all changed after the second season after they met with Kagami and Kuroko in a way they get inspired and they get stronger and better like every professional player does they get stronger and better and then they have this one thing it's called the well no it's not what, they have this one thing it's just like more of a the zone the zone is when they are able to use their full potential for a certain amount of time. And their abilities and the things that they do. Like, one's a copy. One's a copycat. He could copy everybody's but the Generations of Miracles. But 
spoiler alert, if you really do want to watch this anime and you don't want to know what the zone is, just skip a couple of seconds ahead because you don't want to know what happens. So, when he's in the zone, he gets to copy the Generation of Miracles, all of their skills. And not just like they he can always be set into one of theirs, like he could change in between those two those the, in between the generation miracles so say say he's gonna do he's gonna block like the fender and then he's gonna have the plane skills of the point guard which no the safeguard which is really good i should probably say the other ones help what they're good at so yeah perfect copying he could change it however he wants to the other generation of miracles all right Spoiler alert, gone. I will add something. You will see a picture that's a warning sign. Um, okay, so now the, let's get into the other characters. Because I really haven't done the that much of the characters. Alright, so. I mean, ah, fuck, the guy with the A name. Him. Yeah, Daiki. There you go, Daiki. You heard the, some of it. I had to go back to it. So, him. He is good at offensive play style. So, what that would mean is he could do. He, he goes for the shots. It's the money shots he goes for. He could shoot layups. He could dunk. He could run. He has agility. That's his play style. That's his kind of thing of the Generation of Miracles. Then, we have. Atushi Murasaki Bara. He is the center. He is really good at blocking, guarding, defensive style. So there's that. I forgot if he's good at offense, but I'm pretty sure he could dunk a bit or so. But you will see someone in the second season who helps out with him. Because it seems like every generation of Miracle gets paired up. With someone who helps them and gets more developed, except for like two. So, the other ones are. The other one, let's go to. Hmm, which one should I pick? There's so many to choose from. More like there's only two left that I haven't said. So, you didn't know. So, Shintaro Midoriya. Fuck. Shintaro. What? What was it? I'm sorry. You're learning and I'm learning. Let's just go back to this. So, no, Kagaya Kashi, the Kishino Nakademo. Junen Nihitori no Tensai ga Gonin Doshi Nita. The Prodigy. The Kino Sedai. Generation Mirror. The Ryota. Midorima Shintaro. There you go. He had he's a brilliant I think he's a power forward where he could shoot anywhere past the half like the half court he could shoot and three pointers. He shoots them well. He never misses his shots unless he gets blocked, but he's good. since he's really tall, not taller than the center, but he's close enough where when he jumps and shoots, it's hard, kind of hard to block. So he has that up for him. Then, the last one. Akashi. So, Akashi. Alright, so yeah, just Akishi, I'll just say that. I don't I don't want to say his first name. So Akishi he has the Emperor's eye. Now what that does is actually I don't wanna say it, but just know that he's really OP. He's better than well not skill wise better, but no, actually no, I think he is they haven't showed him that much, but they say he is the team captain of the Generation of Miracles. So let's say that. So imagine all of those guys that I said earlier. He is their captain. He is short as... He's the guy on your left, as you can see. 
He's tall as Kuriko, the one on your right. That you've been seeing all along. So, yeah, there's that for him. So, I said everything that I think I could say. If you want to watch the anime, then the link is down in the description below, as pointed out in the picture. So, what's good about it? It has a good story, good characters, character developments, intros. I really don't listen to the outro, so don't ask me for those. So, that's it. I was Anime Wolf, and this is the shitty anime review that you probably have not watched all of. And if you have, please leave a like. Or dislike. And tell me what can I improve. Uh, and more things to improve. Like for example. Remembering what the fuck you say. So this is me. Signing.